interesting where two commentators usually super ham for Zanes. But uh, yeah, so this is, again, into it. Battlefield, no surprise here. And we're going to see if Zane can get the combo game flowing. You know, that's the big thing in this matchup is they both have super hard punishes on each other. But traditionally, it's a little bit easier for Sheik to get it going rather than Marth. Marth exactly. has to be really on point. That's why, like, most of the Sheik-Marth-related advancements have come in recent years for the Marth oh. players. Ooh, getting that quick dunk on the vulnerable frames of the up B at the start. But I think he got caught without a jump. Yep, yeah, Junebug's going to even it up in quick fashion. Now we're pretty much just playing a three-stock game right here. Yeah, these guys going to body each other. Again, we could talk about Sheik and Marth all we want, but this is also going to be specifically Junebug versus Zane. They played so many sets that they are going to be able to understand and predict patterns based on just the multitude of experience that they have against each other. Yeah, you're going to see things like where, where they're dashing into oh. range of attacks. Unfortunate death for Junebug. But when you see people who are comfortable with each other, they dash into range of attacks. They jump into places uh, where they're actually threatened, but they know the other guy isn't looking for it. In a lot of ways, when you get to know someone really well, you just play the matchup wrong. But yeah. you play it exactly the right kind of wrong way. Yeah, like run an F-Smash. Ooh. Junebug with a quick finish on Zane. Every time he dies, it answers back fast. But Zane does have position. He's got invincibility, and he's got Junebug in the corner. I'm liking that full hop, slow drift for control. Junebug's got that edge. See what I mean? He knows yeah. that spot dodge is coming. Dashes to center. It's a safe positional play. Gets the follow up, but not a lot of damage. Well, you see him, a lot of Z Zane just sitting a shield to try and s avoid the needles. And that bait actually is going to cost him some stage positioning. And, and Junebug was able to use the needles as an edge guard tool, but Zane did come back. Okay, got that tipper up air. Almost led into the forward smash. I think Zane swung just a tiny bit too early. You could like feel the breeze from that one on Junebug. Like, oh man, that was close. Gonna check his socks later for holes. <laughs> now that's what that's if you phantom hit. You put a hole in your sock. The feature not a bug. Oh, oh wow. whiff tipper from Zane. Really wanted that kill. On oh, the power shield and the up he had a shield by June Bug and that's, man, that's what I mean about doing the wrong thing. You yeah. jab a Mars shield and then you block? Who does that? Junebug does that. Junebug that's why he's up two stock to one. <laughs> oh, the tournament winner. Going to set up a jump. Yeah, even with the air dodge. I think he touched down. He did. Got that little quick fastball with a double jump. But ledge hop needle. Not safe, my man. Just hit by the Marth fly swatter. All right, Junebug just using the back airs. He doesn't have a jump. He'll be fine. We'll be fine. Oh, he's and fine. He, yeah, he missed the dash back. He tried to do the down air dash to cover. Didn't get it. And then right here, Junebug is doing something that maybe other Sheiks do want to take note of against Zane. He's known as having insane movement, being out, able to outplay so many people in neutral because of his dash dance. How do you stop a Marth from dashing? Throw stuff at him. Yep, there He's you not go. Able to do it. And then off of that hit, Junebug just Ooh. runs straight in, corners him. And they kind of jumped off the stage doing a, a <laughs> nair. He's going to paint with all the colors of the wind. I don't understand, but he. Oh, baits out that out of shield action. Yeah, and he tried to do the down air ledge cancel, didn't get it, and now Junebug doing the vertical tech chase is going to be able to try one more time, and this should be a stock no matter which way he eyes. That is yep. it. Third time's a charm. Game one goes to Junebug. All right, so probably going to see either FD or Yoshi's. Again, and the, the beauty of a best of five is you have both of them at your disposal, depending on which one you are more personally comfortable with. Uh, it, it just depends. You know, Junebug, a lot of Sheiks will like to do this sort of semi-platform camp, needle in, and a gauge off the platform. Junebug really didn't do that much of that. He was more level on the ground. So I don't oh, yeah. think FD is as bad for Junebug specifically as it might be for other Sheiks. But this stage is so good for Zane with the punish game that he has. Yep, and Sheik, one of her one of her biggest struggles against Marth is, of course, getting down because of that up air. And okay, that tipper, that's exactly what Zane wanted but he wasn't able to find another follow-up, <laughs> and Junebug manages to creep his way past. Yeah. They just know each other's dashing patterns. They're always giving each other the little hugging hands. Like, no damage, just an embrace. And they both did the double roll, and it, just a couple times now, Zane has had trouble timing the get up from the ledge to get the tipper. Now Junebug. If I'm liking the Sheen, they're really rapid up these stalls, like the advanced Shino stall, in order to maintain uh, an even faster tempo and adjust so that you've got invincibility right when Marth shows up. You see the forward smash, no DI from Junebug. Yeah. The game. I think he was holding out. He didn't expect to be able to follow that fair up with the F smash, but 
Zane will find follow-ups where you least expect them. Yep, I think uh, Zane's answer to these needles shooting his ground game is just going to be a really aggressive Ooh. tempo dashing up into Junebug's face, make him not want to throw him, and then a quick dash back so you can maintain a little middle distance, continue to threaten without actually just getting locked down from farther away. Oh, and there the, the needle's coming from offstage, but he missed you the wave dash, and any time Zane finds a, an inch, he's going to try and take it a mile. Well, the needle reset! Feet for the sword. Yeah. There, yep, got the June bug once again. He's rocking those needles in the corner. He just wants to shut down the movement. But that full hop, he's got two reverse these, and those are really obnoxious. A little bit of snapback on your joystick. That hurts. That's why people burn through so many GameCube controllers, man. All right, Zane looking really strong here. Got a full stock lead. Yeah, you see just June more than happy to spend time in the corner, especially with his back turn. You get some, oh, uh, the needle. All right. Green Bug right there realized that Zane had his light shield up. He was just, he was just try, kind of trying to shove him off the stage, maybe get a jab down smash, something like that. But, oh, pivot tip for Zane's bread and butter. Yeah, he does not miss those. Playing in the corner, but he's maintaining that tempo. The threat of just dashing through somebody on invincibility, if they run in for a grab or dash attack, they suddenly corner themselves, which is not where you want to be against Marth. I don't think Zane has a jump. Yeah, Junebug just putting together the combo. Look at he just runs straight, speaking of running, straight at him. Junebug with a beautiful stock where he just sprinted at him. Yeah, rapid turnaround. It's something quick grab. Junebug right there. His reaction block from Zane, but he is in the corner again. Oh, and you saw he tried to CC that Nair. Didn't get it. Oh! Is there any space to tip her? No. Doesn't find it. Junebug did a little turnaround back air so he could, or a turnaround needle so he could threaten with back air on the recovery. Oh, and he gets it with the double poof. That's a little extra damage that Zane did not want. Oh my goodness, who's gonna get Oh, he stage spikes with the up B. Are you serious? Definitely didn't want that either. It's a 2-0 lead. Wow. For Junebug in this three out of five. Smashcom gonna be the most upsetty bracket. We're gonna have Junebug and Frenzy in we winners' quarters. We are one game away from seeing that as a reality. It's just a bowl of upsetty spaghetti, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it's a giant mess. I yeah. love it. That's what Smash needs, man. We need more upsets in my life. Being able to just like read the projected bracket and then check the Reddit thread later and be like, yep, identical. Yeah. Not hurts. Oh, here, all right, Zane's mad. He's like, this is my game. Still can't space the tipper, though, if he just walks back just a little bit. I think he's more afraid of just, uh, I think he would rather get the dull forward smash that hits nothing. him rather than try and space a forward smash that gets blocked. Fair, take fair. the damage, get the ledge guard, and then if he still messes up and gets a dull side F smash on a shield, then he's guaranteed to get grabbed, and that stinks even more for him. But I think he's taking that safe damage to the oh. King approach. Junebug finally DI'd out on the tipper. And, there, and speaking of DI out on tippers, oh my god. See you later. <laughs> Definitely wanted an Ops attack there, but he did not find it. Yeah, Zane is mad. This is, this is, who is this Marth? Where was this in the first two games? Off the stage, I think. And ooh, Junebug not actually getting the aerial into re-grab on the ledge. Got Zane, rapid tempo recovery, and Oh, try to get a little fancy with it. Oh, and somehow turns that into a Versa beat. And we're on the precipice of a, of a Quattro. Okay. There's your Quattro. There it is. Junebug's like, nah, we'll go to Dreamland. I don't want to play here anymore. <laughs> wow. That was, it's like if, 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 you, if this somehow ends up being a 3-1, I'd be like, oh, it looks like so Junebug had a pretty solid command. I'd be like, yeah, but the one game that Zane won. Any Marth trying to get better at Marth Sheik should watch that one. That was very pretty. Yeah, and right here, uh, this is this is the stage where like a lot of Marths say, this matchup isn't so bad. And they go, what about on Dreamland? It's like, this matchup is terrible. Yeah. Zane is a Marth, though, that does thrive with a lot of space. As you mentioned, his dash dance game is, is amongst the best in the business. So giving him all the space to run around, and, and again, just no DI whatsoever on these tippers by yeah. Junebug. The other big thing we saw is that Zane was getting his kills early, and he was getting them off of edge guard setups and tippers, and those are pretty much the same on any stage. And so, so are these chuggles. Yeah, wow. Quick 90. Junebug just has
hasn't been able to land for some time. And, okay. That was like the first miss pivot that I've seen that was in, in a long Apparently time. Apparently he does miss those, but yeah. not often. For this dude bug's chance. Oh yeah, caught him without a jump with the reverse fair. That's a, that's a huge equalizer at only a 53%. Yeah, right now at this percent. Arthritis about to start kicking in. Junebug can get a turnaround. He may find himself with a lead with that quick slide off from Zane. In a given position. Let's hop in there. Smart needle from Junebug. Rapid movement from Zane. He's got him shoved off again. And another excellent recovery. Junebug is digging his heels and he wants this lead. Oh, but doesn't get either the transform back to Sheik or the up B. But no punish. Tried to do the dare into ledge cancel and just a little bit too late. Yeah, if you do that rising dare, you're not going to touch ground in time to actually combo. Even off the spike hit on the ground, he just wants, wants the edge cancel so that he can react, follow up with a double jump. But that takes time. Didn't get his punish, and it's an even game after that violent first stock. Yeah, I love the result by Junebug on the ledge right there, too. Not fooled by the hitboxes that Zane was putting out. Oh, and okay, gets him with the, with the weak fair. And spaces the tipper, and that time he was going for it again, but didn't get it. Yup. We saw him actually ground slam this time, though, so, you know, maybe steps. Yeah. <laughs> Incremental improvement. Maybe the next one he'll get, but right now he's going to yeah, he's gonna try and get out of this. He does but another immediate slide off by Zane to avoid to get the, uh, the super juicy sheet combo. And I'm liking that choice where he goes for that second fair. When he sees it launch, he just falls, takes the edge, and it's another unpleasant DI yeah. for Junebug, and we're already in game five. We blinked, and here we are. I know, last that was, game of the that set. was real quick. And something we also saw there, the one thing that probably makes Dreamland good for Marth in that matchup is, like we were talking about with the Mike Hayes, Mewtwo King set, the No Man's Land, the mini FD yeah. in between the platforms. Zane picking up like 60% off an up throw, up tilt, up air chain, even more if he can get him sent to the edge and turn it into edge guarding. Just a little bit short on that fair, but he, as you mentioned, yeah, he got that up tilt and then that, you know, 30s to 40s percent, that can lead into a big juggle chain if you're in the right position. He's just a little off. Yeah, we've got Junebug uh, kind of, oh, he's going to get stuffed oh. on that edge guard. Fortunately for him, didn't eat. Wow. A wall, didn't eat a wall tech situation. He was able to still get that kill, so we've got Junebug with the lead in this game five, but for how long? You see that tipper? No. Spot dodge getting out just in time to avoid it. It also looked like he might have been just a little bit too far away. Yeah. Seems like Junebug is remembering just how much Zane likes to dash back, and he's invading his space, but that's actually going to get him killed, I think. Oh, he rolled up a little bit too early, and uh, there finally gets it. If at first you don't succeed, try like six more times. And he's Looks still like you living. Have terrible DI, but then game five, you come in clutch. Yeah, that, that is the true. It's a long save. Exactly, but it's, it's the, the true one. It's the con. He's just conning him for game four. He's like, yeah, keep F smashing me in the corner. I'm going to die every time. It's psych. The long con. We got Sheik Durden over here, but Zane. <laughs> oh, he didn't get the. Oh, my goodness. I was going to say, he didn't get the sweet spot double jump. Yeah, I respect the choice from Zane to do that little 4D, even though it took him. It cost him some damage. He didn't want to eat pineapple, you know? Didn't want to clip that roof. Got that runoff fair. He's maintaining control of this edge guard situation. Just going to chuck him off. Got the yeah. edge, no needle. That needle needs to hit yeah. for Sheik on the edge guard, or else you are screwed. That was such a great mix up, too. After all the F smashers in a row that Zane was putting out, finally does the reverse of B, which had fresh knockback and is able to get the kill. Yep. Right there, we see Zane is calling out Junebug's call out on his dashing back, where he just runs up and grabs him. Just dead and neutral. And to his lead, incrementing for Zane, but Junebug does have him in the corner. And that should be the stock. Yep. Yeah. Still very much anyone's game after the way stock one went down. I'll hope this, this again. Oh, and that time does not get it. And Zane is one stock away from getting the reverse 3 0. After Junebug won game one on a close comeback and then uh, had the stage by game two, Zane has just been turning up the Jets. Yep. Right now, though, there's one thing for Marth that he can't do in some of these matchups. He cannot just play for trades if he's up a stock. Yeah. Because once Marth Rytus sets in, you sometimes make their last stock last even longer than their other one. But he ate that double jump. Oh, but the tournament winner, the first tournament winner I think we've seen from Zane. 
But I like this, the, just the uh, the low side B stall to get Junebug off the ledge. And if you're Junebug right now, you're not enjoying these reverses. You want to get your ledge situations on Marth. You don't want to send him across Dreamland. It's a big stage. Zane has good DI. Oh, and the, in the corner. That chase, that should be it. Even with the Zelda transformation, he is too far away. And Zane brings it back to 3 2 Junebug. Good friends. Great set. Junebug reeling his head back. You know, he, he was very close to having that set. Yep. That was some filthy play from Zane. That was, that was disgusting. Coming the, off of games one and two. Yeah, the adaptation was huge. He